Hey, this is Brooke Durham with PrinterBot.com, and uh, we're not quite done with the printer, but we're close. Uh, just got a couple of little things to take care of on the heat bed, but I want to show you, it is printing. Now, we slice this, you can see off to the side there. Where is my finger? That is starting to split. It's actually a really small diameter. Whoa, this is kind of neat. Look at this. So it's got an open top. Wow, you can see the heat. So that's uh, just a vase blown up. We should have put, we've got a 0.75 nozzle and we should have let it do a thicker wall thickness, maybe a little higher heat because it's splitting on the side there, but otherwise it looks good. Open up the door here so you can see the layer lines, you should be able to see that. You know, printing big has its own challenges and uh, it's moving a lot of filament as you can see, it's grinding away. And the hot end isn't the problem, um, but when you have thin walls and a large print, you know, you'll find, woo, that, that is hot. It's at, oh hi, <laughs> I can see my reflection. Uh, anyway, the, uh, there it is. So I'm running it, I just turned it up a little bit to 240, it's ABS, and it's about 100. Uh, the flatness wasn't really the problem, although it did curl on this corner just a little bit on that corner. Not too bad, I guess I could try a little higher heat. But I just wanted it to run for a while to make sure everything is working, and it is. Just gotta learn how to slice these bigger prints a little better when they're spiral base. But uh, anyway, the prosthetic printer, going really well. Pretty sweet.